Suppose if there is a requirement to export the data whatever is populated in this table in the CSV file on click of the button, how can we achieve that? We are going to look into this in this class. So for that purpose, I am going to create a button over here on click of which which will download all the data present in the table in a CSV file and then we will view that file and cross check the details. Now let me switch over to the application, switch over to the code view. Again, it's your personal choice. If you want to modify the code with the help of design view, you can do it. Now let me add that button after this horizontal ruler. I'm giving this enter over here. First of all, there is no out of the box feature available. So in order to achieve this functionality, we need to install a component. So click on this component section, go to browse. Here we need to search for export. There you will find export data, click on install. You can go through the terms and condition of usage of this component. Click on I have reviewed and accepted the license agreement after going through this agreement clause. Click on install. Minimize this layout component view. Now here we have to search for export component. So export component will be visible. Just drag this and drop it over here after div. So this has added this OJ sample export data. If we switch back to design view, it will show us the button. As you can see, a button has been added over here. Now click on this. Scroll down. Let me make this as outline button. Okay. Done. What name we want to add for this? I'm hard coding it over here. As of now, I'm going to write as employee CSV. So the maximum record what we want in this CSV file, I am hard coding it to 10,000. I don't want more than 10,000 records in the CSV file. So button text, I'm writing export to CSV. Now just scroll down. We will add the icon before the text over here. In order to do that, click on this plus button over here. Click on icon. So if you click on this icon, you will see a default image icon is added. I don't want this icon to be added over there. I am removing this class from here. I am switching over to Oracle Images page. Here I will add the class for this icon. That is OJ UX ICO download. So this I will add it over here. Click on enter. As you can see, I am getting this icon. Now click on the back button. Now we need to assign the data for this export variable. Click on this data for the button. Here we need to add that data source. So the table data will be present in SDP. I am going to add it over here. That is the employee list SDP. Click on save. So here we need to add the fields. Click on plus. Click on that arrow mark. Here we have to select which field from that SDP. We, I need the ID and in Excel sheet or the CSV file, I want this to be represented with ID header. Other fields available in that employee business object is first name, last name, email, phone, hire date, salary and department. Copy this. Also, you can verify it with the help of business object. Click on this business object. Click on employee. Go to data. Here you will find the details for all the fields available. So I will add one by one everything. I will select first name from here. Go to main start. Here the type I am selecting this as ID is a number selecting number. Go back. Click on plus. Click on arrow. Field I am giving first name, header I want this as first name, type I am giving as string. Go back. Now I will add one more field over here. So I will populate second name. So I will get the second name, field name from here from the business object. 
that is the last name go to main start in the field i will add the field name header text i will give as last name and the type is string select the string okay fine so we have added three fields let me add one more field over here that is for salary so header value it should be salary type is i am giving this as a number go back and last field i am going to add is department header text i want this to be represented with department in caps okay and the type is of type number done go back now let's preview this okay there is one extra field added let me delete this before viewing okay let me click on this preview button as you can see our export to csv button is highlighted along with the icon on click of the export to csv button it should download the csv file to my local computer with all the details whatever is populated in this table i am clicking on this button it has downloaded the employee.csv this is the name what i had given while configuring this button click on open file as you can see i am getting the details for id first name last name salary and the department whatever i have set in the header text it is coming over here and with the data data will be exactly similar to what it is shown over here from 100 to 206 100 to 206 there are 13 employees